Google announced the Android 12 public beta and you can experience it too. The public beta is currently available for Google Pixel devices, Pixel 3 and above, and a few other devices from these manufacturers. So how is the Android 12 public beta? Well, I'm going to install it on a Google Pixel 3 and find out. Hello everyone, I'm Aditya, you're watching Gadgets 360 and this is your first look at Android 12 beta. Let's begin. Android 12 brings with it a host of new features and a refreshing new design along with new animations, widgets, a modified lock screen and more. Google is also adding more security features for its users on Android 12 and you'll also get to tweak around with other aspects of the UI like the notifications and quick settings. Apart from Pixel phones, you can also download the public beta version of Android 12 on these devices. If your phone's not on the list, then tough luck. The process is quite simple if you're using a Google Pixel device. All you need to do is head over to the Android 12 beta website, the link's in the description, and you just need to enroll your device. Now, that is what I'm going to do with this one, the Google Pixel 3. You can check for the process of installing the beta version of any of the non-Google phones mentioned above by going to the manufacturer's links available on the Android developer's site. On the website, you'll get instructions on how you can register. Once the registration is complete, the Android 12 Beta 1 will be available for download on your smartphone. You can also check the status of the download manually by going to Settings, System, System Update and check for Update. The Beta update for the Pixel 3 is 1.62 GB in size, so make sure you have enough space on your smartphone. You need to note that the process of the installation seems to differ depending on the manufacturer. So follow the instruction page on Google's list of eligible phones. Android 12 brings a refreshing design to its UI via Material U, which customizes the themes and color schemes of the phone based on your custom wallpapers. The Android 12 beta currently does not change color schemes based on the wallpaper, but you can manually customize it the way you like. You're now getting bigger buttons and different animations with some customizations in the notifications panel and you also get other elements like slide in and out with fade effects. The lock screen gets a major change as well. When you have no notifications, the clock occupies a majority of the screen which looks cool. With pending notifications, the size of the clock is reduced and you can see these notifications in its place. You'll get new privacy features for the camera, mic and location. Whenever an app is using the camera or mic, a green light will pop up as an indicator of the same. Google will also let you know when location tracking is on and will give you quick shortcuts to turn it off. This is a pretty cool feature but it isn't currently available in the first beta that we are running on our Google Pixel 3. However, there's no update on if this puts a lid on app tracking yet. Long pressing the power button in Android 12 now summons the Google Assistant. This makes it convenient to summon the Assistant at the touch of a button. Samsung has been doing this on its Galaxy smartphones for a while now. And lastly, Google says that Android 12 will bring support for an inbuilt remote that will work with Android TV systems like Chromecast. Google also said that it's working on a feature where your phone will transform into a digital car key via NFC and UWB. Although this feature will be available on a select Pixel and Samsung Galaxy phones. There's a lot coming to Android 12 in the coming months and rest assured we're going to keep you up to date with all the news and updates from Android. All you need to do is stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.